I got the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Edition Nintendo Switch OLED, and we're gonna unbox this thing compared to the regular Switch, the Splatoon OLED, and the Switch Lite to help you find out which one is best. So hit that subscribe button if you like Nintendo Switch unboxing videos. And this black box already looks really cool. I can't wait to see what kind of finish exactly is on that dock. There's also a pretty cool pattern on the back of the Switch itself, but first, let's take a look at these Joy-Con. That is such a weird orange color. It looks very matte. First of all, that's cool. I like the designs they're putting on the back of the Joy-Con these days. And look, there's a little bit of orange on orange going on, which is really cool. And purple on purple to kind of like give it a little bit more of a dynamic there. That's really nice. That's really well done. Let me know in the comments what you all think about this actual color scheme. I know they're going with the scarlet and violet theme there, but some people think these colors together don't look really good. They do kind of clash, but I actually really dig it. I love this. This looks really cool. I also think a lot of people aren't going to like this black text right here, but you got to think what else were they going to do to make it separate from the pattern? They could have made it, you know, a light purple, but then it would have competed with this pattern here and it would have seemed like it's on brand with the color scheme. So I think they had some decisions to make and they just kind of had to do it. And I think it looks okay. The feeling is really weird. It's really weird texture. It's like it doesn't have a finish on it. It feels kind of chalky. These are the Splatoon ones and I think we're just used to more of a smooth kind of feel. I actually have some knockoff Splatoon ones that I previously thought felt kind of rough as well, but they're actually not even as bad as these Pokemon ones. Now the result is, I think it looks really cool. It looks super matte. Just something to keep in mind. In the box, you get the Joy-Con straps as usual, and they come in white this time, which is a welcome change. You also get the Joy-Con grip for a more controller type feel, and once again, it has no design, but it goes with the color scheme. Now let's take a look at the back of the Switch itself. Ooh, now that I do like. Just look how sweet it looks. And it feels good, nothing abnormal going on here. Like the Splatoon Switch, they're going for the graffiti style here, and I think this really works. I like the black on black of the Splatoon, but these colors look really, really good together on the black, in my opinion. What does this remind me of? It's very dreamy. I wanna say it reminds me of a scene from Zelda Majora's Mask, I'm not quite sure, but I'm really digging it. It gives me hope now for a really cool Tears of the Kingdom Switch if we get one. I I think graffiti style makes the most sense with Splatoon, but to see they're going that route here with Pokemon as well, it really gives me hope. And now I understand why they made sure to put white on the back of the Splatoon Joy-Con. Check it out, you can mix and match Joy-Con and it doesn't mess with the color scheme or anything. In fact, I really like the combination of the Pokemon Switch and the Splatoon Joy-Con. What do you think about that? I think that just looks really awesome. And here's how it looks with the Scarlet and Violet Joy-Con. Still looks cool, but I actually like the white better. With the designs on the orange and purple, it just seems a little bit too much, which, by the way, I feel like a lot of people wanted more design on these Joy-Con. You know, what if they flip these around? Wouldn't that be kind of cool to have this on the front and then have the back be a little bit more simple? That way they can let the Switch take over as far as the cool design goes. But you know what? I'm not complaining either way. I think it looks really good. Next, we're gonna take a look at the paint job on this dock. But real quick first, if you didn't of the differences. The OLED switch is only slightly longer than the standard V2, V1 switch. The big difference though, of course, is the screen is a lot bigger with better color accuracy. The kickstand is a huge improvement too. It's finally usable. And there's other differences too. If you want a full comparison, check out my video on that. I compare the audio and everything. From the switch light, you're really getting an increase in screen size. This is the difference in length. And the light has a D-pad where these don't, but of course you can buy a different type of controller to give it that ability. Also, I have a wholesome 8 18 plus Discord. I know a lot of us play Pokemon, so if you'd like to make some new friends, check out the pinned comment. So nothing on the back except for a little portion of a Pokeball, which, okay, I, that's pretty clever. I like that. That's a little disappointing, though. I like to have something on the back. You know, the Splatoon one at least had a little bit of a subtle silver kind of gray going on. And what's going on here? You've got this right here on the bottom, which you don't have on the Splatoon Switch. I'm guessing it's because of Game Freak's involvement, but check this out. Hey I mean, not that people would really do this, but you can, and, you know, best of both worlds. Or... If you're really picky, maybe you could buy one of these online. Dude! What? That feels really, really weird. Is there a cover on there? What? That is interesting. Okay, I found out where our gloss went from the Joy-Con. They took it off the Joy-Con and they put it on the dock because usually the dock is kind of scratchy. This...
Listen to that. It's like a wipe off board. It's very, very interesting. I think it looks really good. You've got a slight gradient right here. You've got the yellow going to the red and you've got a little bit of gradient on this side, but really not at all as much. And if you look over here, you can see there's a slight pattern going on in the background of the design. When the light hits it just perfectly, check that out. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty unique. I'm telling you, that's why they had to do this extra glossy kind of thing. They had to seal in this finish now this is really interesting so there's not a switch logo here on the front right so they put it on top where it's not on the top of the other OLED docks the main differences with the OLED dock is that you don't have that hinge that you have on the v1 and v2 switch and you also get a LAN port so you can plug Ethernet in directly and get less lag with multiplayer and your Pokemon Splatoon and everything else I like this dock I think it's pretty sweet what do you think about the Pokemon OLED switch which part is your favorite for me it's the switch itself you know I'm not the biggest fan of these Joy-Con but come on. You can swap them out for pretty much any Joy-Con you want and it's gonna look good. If you like Nintendo Switch unboxing videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button as we get closer to 5,000 every day. Then tap on those boxes on your screen and I'll see you over there in another video.